I'm here with Tess Carmichael and her horses behind the scenes in the stables behind the London GCT. Tess, you've been around the world with your horses at the GCT. Please tell us a little bit about how it is for the experience for your horses. Um, I'm really lucky to be able to compete on the global tours really and um, <laughs> yeah we do a lot of the shows throughout Europe so this year we started in Madrid and um, we've been to um, Cannes and Paris and Chanty. we've been all over the place really and later we go to Rome and we go to we went to Berlin last weekend and we go to Valkensbad next weekend in Holland so yeah it's an amazing tour and I'm very very lucky to be able to compete in it and go to these lovely locations with my horses <laughs> really amazing it's a fantastic experience how is it for your horses to travel around like this um, I'm lucky I have an amazing groom and she takes very very good care of them and um, yeah they, they travel really well we have a good truck we do plenty of stops on the way we have a great agency that we work with that sort out all the stabling for us and the train bookings and the health papers and everything like that so it is there's quite a lot of logistics to it but I'm lucky I have a great team behind me and and Ronnie's been doing it for a long time so she's she's great and they travel really well so fantastic so tell us a little bit about this superstar this is Atlantis. I've had him since he was seven and he's 12 this year. Um, he's been amazing this year. He won the Grand Prix at Royal Windsor. He won a class in Cannes and um, yeah, so he's been really good this show. He was six yesterday in the 140, which is a really good start. And um, yeah, he's, he's lovely. He's, he's so scope. He has all the scope in the world and he gives me so much confidence and I'm very lucky to have him. Fantastic. Today we are in the heart of London, in the city. Do you think they notice it? How do you think that, how, how have they experienced London? I think he seems pretty chilled about it all really. We're really lucky because this is such a nice venue that the horses, you don't feel like you're in a city. There's so many, it's so much space for them. There's all the grounds of the, you know, the, the show and everything and the warm up's nice and big and, you know, they're away from the road. So we probably feel it more than they do. Whereas I think that he just seems very chilled out about it all really. Yeah, apparently he's <laughs> hanging out with us. So here we are with your other horse. Who is this? This is Bangle. She's an eight-year-old mare and I've had her for about six months. So this is like our first proper season together, um, which is great. Like I've, she's gone really well. She was eighth today in the 130, which I'm so pleased with because she'd done a little bit, but she'd not, I mean, the arenas that we get to ride in, you can't ever replicate that kind of atmosphere and the things she has to see. So um, yeah, I was, I'm really lucky. She's got quite a good brain on her. Sometimes she's not quite sure and we kind of don't know each other so well yet, but um, but yeah, she, I, I have a lot of confidence in her and um, yeah, I hope we have a good future together and we can start jumping a bit bigger and soon. So, but yeah, she's lovely. Fantastic. So what does the future hold for, for both of you um, after London? Yeah, after London we go to Varkensvard. She's actually going to come to Varkensvard with me and I'm going to swap to another horse I have at home. Um, Atlantis will have a bit of a break because he did Berlin last weekend as well. And then um, we do Rome in September and then we just need to find out some few shows to do over the winter after the tour is finished. Fantastic. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.